Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we are going to learn about a new operator called modulo. And it's the percent sign, but it does some really interesting things. All right, so three divided by two is one and a half. So, but we do this long division wise. So two goes in one time and then helps if I actually Okay, so two goes in one time, then if we were to write this out, you have a remainder. Well, with modulo, you will only get what the remainder is and how this can be handy. And one of the things that you can find is if things are divisors. And divisors are anything that goes in evenly. So as we've learned about a test, if something goes in evenly, you'd have a zero remainder, right? So if you're going to look for a list of divisors, and this would be the feature that you'd use. One of the really handy things is if you're looking for prime numbers. Prime numbers are a very complicated math uh, feature. And so, all right, four divided by two. If we use the modulo, four goes in evenly, and it, you get zero. So here's a perfect example. Let's say number right now, and let's think number two. Let's make it four divisor equals two. If num equals zero. So quickly, let's go over what I did here. So what I was saying was, because we could draw this into a function, but I just wanted to draw this out so you guys could see it pretty quickly. So all right, if num run through divisor with two, if it is equal, because remember our double equal sign, is an actual test if something is equal to zero. So if it goes in evenly, then it is a divisor. So we could do this and become more elaborate. So let's comment this out and let's write a function. Is so first, let's say, let's kind of go into this and become more elaborate. Uh, num and then divisor. And to remind you, what this is, is a handy reminder for the people using this function of what, what it's going to be doing. Okay. our answer right here we have our if we have our if statement is a divisor and then else print not a divisor okay so let's run this so actually let's rerun this so we don't have to call it We'll do it both ways. So all right, right here, we're going to say it, we have to call the function. 
and then right here you have your little reminder. First enter number, then divisor. So let's say seven, and then four. Run it, not a divisor, because four does not go evenly into seven. Is eight and two is a divisor. So, all right, so here's, I don't think we've done this yet. So there's a little crash course in writing some instructions for another user or a reminder of what in the world your little function did. Then our little if statement with a test and then what the modulo sign does is it tests for remainders. So, um, hope you guys got something out of this. Thanks for watching. Uh, click the subscribe button and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.